So you talk about um, thinking a thought for 16, 17 seconds. And I'm trying to understand what you're considering a thought. Because I've heard you do rampages, and the rampages clearly aren't just one sentence over and over and over again. What we're really talking about there is the initiation of a vibration that will gain momentum. So it really is attention to something, just your attention to it. It could be you noticing a fragrance. It could be you looking specifically at something and having an attitude about it. It could be something you're pondering or remembering or anticipating. In other words, it's just attention to something. And your attention to something not divided. In other words, for example, if you think about how much you really appreciate some person and you hold that thought for 17, less than 17 seconds now, Another thought like it will join it. Maybe about that same person or maybe about someone else that is similar in vibrational nature. The reason that we talk about it in this pointed way is because so often, in fact, most often, our human friends, we love you so much, you think that thought which makes you think about the opposing thought. So you don't hold the thought about wanted for 16 seconds before you think, yeah, but. And so that's what that conversation is all about. Because once you understand that you can focus yourself into a trending or a momentum, and that then the law of attraction will kick in. Once you go 17, 17, 17, 17, and you cross that 68 second place, now your momentum is such that you can be off and running pretty good on a thought, on an idea, on a desire, on a subject. It's tricky, isn't it? Because only in this sense, vocabulary. Vibration. We're not whispering words to Esther. We're offering vibration to her. More like a radio signal than anything else you would understand. And Esther is receiving it at an unconscious level and finding the physical word equivalent. You do that all the time. What you translate into fragrance or odor is vibrational interpretation. Even what you see or hear or smell or taste or touch, you are interpreting the vibrational world that you live in. And so vibration is what that 16 seconds that we're talking about is, but then it becomes more. Once you trend a little while, that vibration that manifests, let's use the words really well as we begin here today, that vibration that manifests because you are the interpreter. Let's call the interpreter the manifester. So that vibration manifests into a thought, an idea. Then it manifests into an impulse or a rendezvous or an actual receiving of something or a place to live or an idea for a business or people to help you with your business. In other words, the manifestations get more and more and more and more as you trend longer and longer and longer and longer without contradicting the trending direction of desire. That's the best discussion we've ever had about that. We appreciate your question. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. Enough? Yeah. Really good. Really good. Really good.